story of the little red hen. Once there was a hard working little red hen who had three good little children. Every day the little red hen would wake up early and begin sweeping the barnyard. One day, as she was sweeping the barnyard, she saw on the ground some seeds of wheat. She picked them up and began clucking loudly. <coughs> Out of the house came Mrs. Cat, Mr. Duck, and Mr. Pig. What's wrong, said Mrs. Cat. Why are you making so much noise, said Mr. Pig. Excitedly, Mrs. Hen said, I found some seed of wheat dropped by the farmer today. If we all work together and plant this seed of wheat, we will soon have some hot bread to eat. Mr. Pig looked at Mrs. Cat. Mrs. Cat looked at Mr. Dub. And they both replied together, Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the pig. Not, Not I. I. We have too much fun playing. We don't have the time for working. I can't. I won't. Not I. Mrs. Hen looked around at her baby chicks and said, That's OK. Since those lazy animals don't want to work today, we'll go out in the field and plant that seed of wheat. So she went out with the baby chicks and got the shovel and began planting the seeds of wheat. She came every day with her baby chicks and watered the seeds, and soon the wheat grew nice and tall. Well, she went back that day and she called again. <coughs> Out of the house came Mrs. Cat, Mr. Duck, and Mr. Pig. What's wrong, said Mrs. Cat. Why are you making so much noise, said Mr. Pig. Excitedly, Mrs. Hen replied, Today is time to cut the wheat. If we all work together and cut the wheat, we can soon take it to the mill. Cut the wheat, said Mrs. Cat. I don't like cutting wheat, said Mr. Duck. And Mr. Pig, he looked around, and they all replied, Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the pig. Not, Not I. I. We have too much fun playing. We don't have no time for working. I can't. I won't. Not I. Well, Mrs. Hen and, and her little chicks they decided to go and cut the wheat by themselves. Well, they cut the wheat, put it in a wheelbarrow, and off to the mill they went. They worked all day taking the wheat to the mill and making sure it was ground into flour. And then they came back. Mrs. Hen walked into her house and put on her apron, and she began to make the bread. And then she looked around at her baby chicks and she said, why don't we give those lazy animals one more chance? So Mrs. Hen walked to her door, opened it, and began calling. Bark, 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 bark. Out of the house came Mrs. Cat. Out of the house came Mr. Duck and Mr. Pig. What's wrong, said Mrs. Cat. Why are you making so much noise, said Mr. Pig. Well, today we're going to make the bread, said Mrs. Hen. Will you help me at least make the bread? Make the bread, said Mrs. Cat. I don't like making bread, said Mrs. Cat. Oh, 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 I, don't, I don't like making bread, said Mr. Pig. Well, the cat looked around and at his friends and they all replied. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the pig. Not, Not I. We have too much fun playing. We don't have no time for working. I can't.
Mrs. Hen had just about enough of her lazy friends. And so, Mrs. Hen and her baby chicks, they finished making the bread. And they took the bread and put it in the oven. Soon the bread was smelling good. There was a knock on the door. And Mrs. Hen went to the door and she opened the door. And who should be standing there? Mrs. Cat, Mr. Duck, and Mr. Pig. All her lazy friends were waiting there. And Mrs. Hen said, can I help you? And Mrs. Cat said, can I have some bread, Mrs. Hen? Oh, I like bread, said Mr. Duck. Mm -hmm, said the pig. Can I have some bread, said Mr. Pig? Well, Mrs. Hen looked at the chicks and then she looked at the lazy animals and then she replied. said the hen. I can't, said the hen. I won't, said the hen. Not I. You have too much fun playing and not enough time for working. I can't. I won't. Not I. <laughs> Mrs. Hen closed the door and her lazy friends walked back to their houses with their heads hung low. Well, the next morning, Mrs. Hen got up, got a broom, and walked out the door. But surprisingly, she looked up, and who should she see in the barnyard holding brooms in their hand was Mrs. Cat, Mr. Duck, and Mr. Pig. They waved at Mrs. Hen and said, we're here to help you this morning, Mrs. Hen. Well, after that day, Mrs. Hen can recall there was no such thing as a lazy cat, a lazy duck, or a lazy pig in the barnyard, and everyone lived happily ever after.